Good morning. All right. So T minus like one minute and 45 seconds until market open. These are the two tickers that I'm currently looking at right now. It's ABIO, SNOA. Okay, first let me explain the format of my stock videos thus far. I have three parts. First part is pre-market and what my plans are. Step two is the live portion and step three is towards the end is just a recap and a quick analysis of my trade. You can go to any one of those if those are the parts that you particularly just care about. So T minus one minute left now. Comment below what your pre-market plan might be based on these two right, right now. And if not, why don't you leave a comment telling me how I can improve my my strategies. Okay, we have T minus 30 seconds left. Pretty much they're both going to be short. The higher this pops up, I'm thinking about shorting. The closer this pops up to about 16 bucks, I'm thinking about shorting. Most likely closer to 14 to be honest. And ABIO has a crazy story as of yesterday. T minus 10 seconds. It went from pretty much 9. It opened up a 9 and ended at like 19. Absolutely not. $10. All right, it's Game time. PHIO is another ticker that's on my radar. Ooh, ABIO is jumping up. I like it. I'm kind of curious about the uh, shares on that. Yeah, let's check for 200 shares. You know what? It's double down Friday. Normally, I'm comfortable with max 100, but double down Friday. Or whatever I do is just double down. Ooh, that is quite expensive. That is the highest I've ever seen. And I don't know if I, if I want to pull that trigger. You know what? Let's check on SNAO. Maybe that'll look a little bit more sweeter because it's at that spot that I was thinking about. Oh, that's even more expensive. Jesus. You know what? SNAO might be a buy. It's going to break out. It's going to break out past 1550. You know what? It's crazy enough that maybe we should do a buy. I haven't, I haven't done a buy. SNO, SNOA. Exactly. Sorry, I have to I have to, I have to just see what, what this is about because this is going to be my support that where I'm thinking about buying from. 13... 13 to, eh, okay, 13, 15, 13, 25 maybe, but for sure 13. That's a really strong support. Now, with that in mind, which is pretty much where it opened, so that's easy. What is it? Shoot, shoot, what's my hotkeys for it? Okay, if it drops down to 15, I'll buy. Come on, closer to 15. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm scared of buying. I'm definitely scared of buying right now. Actually, right now, it would be a good time to buy. No, 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 no. What the F just happened? I, I want to buy it right now. Oh my god, where to go? I have no idea what just happened. I like logged out of my uh, brokerage somehow. SNOA. SNOA. Okay, I'm thinking about buying some right here. Wow. I got kind of lucky that it's on pause though. So everything that just happened right now, I've been tripping out trying to, I don't know what I did. I pressed the wrong hotkeys and like my whole window pretty much just messed up. And, and I was trying to buy it right here, but it's paused. So now my general gut feeling is that whenever it gets paused, it's usually a bad thing. Usually whenever it's on a downward trend or on a down tick, I guess, because there's one huge candle literally in this one minute mark, it went from Pretty much 15 to 13 it lost two dollars in one minute and i was thinking about buying right now i would have a heart attack right now if that execution went through i would literally have a heart attack right now two dollars oh my god that cracks me up like my honest mistake right now now like just waiting a little extra second now I don't know if I should buy. Like now, I'm I'm gonna let the market tell me or give me a few more minute candles, regain myself, and then and then um decide if it's a buy or a short. Hopefully, I can remember quickly my buy hotkey. I just haven't used them because I've been well. You guys noticed I've been mainly doing short and just trying to get better at them. I know realistically I'm gonna have my first loss eventually, but I'm just not trying to have it anytime soon. I'm just trying to make more calls, try to be a little bit more aggressive than the last one, just a little bit. And all in all, it's just Try to come close to zero as possible when it's going against me. And anything in the positive, I'm just happy. That's my, like my simplistic goal right now. I, I, I try to keep it simple and execute majority of my decisions that will lead towards those two goals. I know it's very simplistic, but that's definitely how, how I make my ultimate decisions. Just went from 15, to, a part of me wants to really, really short this. Like maybe just 50 shares because it's so expensive. I know I told myself that I won't go over like $10. Maybe because it's double down Fridays, I can risk about 50 on a higher price stock. I think that's a kind of a fair equivalent to my 200 in my comfortable zone. I won't play 10 and above. So if I'm going to double down, maybe I'll just do a starter position on stocks that I normally would not play. Oh, it started back up. I think this is still a strong buy, but this 13 area is scaring me. I'm going to give it a chance to work its way up and try to break this again. If 
if this can work its way up, maybe teases it, come back down, teases this area, this just this, this uh, breakout point, comes back down maybe towards 15, um, consolidates here a little bit, then I wouldn't mind buying like a uh, 100 shares, probably 50, but depending on how I how comfortable I feel, I might bump that up to 100 shares because I think a breakout will probably happen. If it could reach that particular scenario, I'll go in 50 or 100 based on how it develops. And if it meets most of those criteria, I'm getting excited for that. If my first buy could be a breakout that just goes from like 15 to uh, 20 or something like that, that will be nuts. I have always seen the breakouts. I have never been gutsy enough to actually make a play on them. Look at this strong bad boy right here. If I bought right here, 1350, it's already over a dollar. It's already over a dollar. I mean, not a dollar. Yeah, a dollar, right? Yeah, over a dollar. It's over a dollar. That means if I put in 50 shares right now, I would get $50. I know it got paused again, but like I said, like I know that this is the ultimate greedy point. Like I'm assuming that this is the bottom. It's the ultimate greed point where either it can really go your way. I mean, yeah, really go your way because then that's the ultimate bottom. Or this could be the top and it just, it pretty much does another red one of these um, candles right here. Another $2 drop. Then it'll be a $4 drop in two minutes. And that's just devastating. Dude, I'm getting excited for any for any one of these. I kind of want to buy SNOA and, and, and I kind of hope that it's just going to break out and you guys can see this like two three dollar four dollar run and then i can just hopefully i can be disciplined enough and not greedy and just like lock in my profits so, like if it jumps to two three four dollars very quickly mind you has never happened to me but i'm excited because on this particular ticker i want to say a high probability from the way i see it on a 10 being the most ideal seven being like most probable like like 70 percent so like you know most probably gonna go my way seven being most probable i would say this is on a verge of like a 8.5 i don't know if i have or if i have not i'm coming up with a new series spoiler alert a new stock series besides the one that i'm giving you and i think you guys will love it just a easter egg in here for the people that have made it this far what i'm willing to do here would be the first on my current series and the first for me ever and if I can get that pop up, here it is, it started. If I can if I can get that pop up and get two, three, four dollars, that's like easily the best trade I've ever done. It might be game time soon. Okay, nope, nope, nope. The hot key is this. Okay, dude, it's scary. But remember, I had to verbally think about my plan. I rated this at 8.5 in my book. So so far it's hit that top one. I wanted to consolidate around 15 for like a few candles. The longer it can do that, the more it'll convince me that it'll probably go up. If not, then like I would have to just, I don't know, see what it does for the next few candles. Have a heart attack with a $1 swing or more. I have to like double check my hotkey fingers because I've never bought with these hotkeys. I'm sweating. We're like, I, I want to pull the trigger right now. Okay, I'll do it right here. Oh, damn it. The closer it gets to 1450, I feel like buying it, buying 50 shares. I think that would be like the low of that breakout. Usually you've been seeing me play for cents. This is on a scale of that, it is immensely larger. Therefore the emotions are being swung around with that much magnitude. I, re I really want to buy it. Like it's, I feel like it's going to be a buy. What is it? Where are we at? Where are we at? 1491. I'm going to buy 50. I, I bought 50 there. I bought 50 at 1538. Come on, break out. Who? Come on. Show me a dollar push. This is going to be nuts. Come on. Yes. Everybody buy. Everybody buy. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, hold that 16 and bounce up, baby. Hold that 16 and bounce up. Come on, people. Believe in this breakout. Because I do. Plus, it will be really cool for this video and for you guys to watch this breakout. Like this absolutely insane breakout. Because a part of me is just like, bail now, bail now. Holy crap, bail now. Yes, there we go. There we go. Come on. Everybody buy, push that. You know what? I'll lock in a little bit of profits here. I think. Yes. I, I locked in 17 shares of profit right there. At 16.30. Look at that push. Come on, push to 17. I want to be greedy a little bit. Yes. Yes. If it kisses that 17 or breaks it, like, I'm very enticed to just sell everything. It's gonna break that 17. This is absolutely nuts. Come on. I'm being greedy for that one cent, but whatever. Yes. All right, I'm out. I'm out. Because I want to break that 17. I should listen to my verbal self. Even though it went to 17, 1765, 17, 74. You know what? 
I'm out. I'm happy. I locked in the profit. Let's just watch this, how far this can go. I don't care how much money I left on the table. Point is, I'm leaving with money. That was absolutely nuts. My heart is still pounding. Dude, it's at 18. This is awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see this video. Like, I'm so excited. It got paused. I absolutely cannot believe this is this is real i'm only gonna stay here for the purpose of you guys can witness this breakout in penny stock land i don't know about you but maybe it's just me being very geeky about stocks i've seen so many of the in paper trading look at this go holy snap it just opened back up mr sticker sorry and look at this look at this bad boy go i'm happy with mine with my profit but just look at this beauty look at this yes appreciate this in its full glory appreciate this remember each one of these is a minute candle this minute even from like pretty much 1725 to 1950 two dollars and fifty cents it raised in a minute i'm ecstatic that i that i got the profit i did you guys can watch this in the background. 9.02 right now. So 32 minutes into the market. And that was a crazy amount of action. Let's do a quick analysis on SNOA. So on this trade, I made a total of $77.54. So let's just call it 70, $77. And that's with 50 shares. My entry average was 50 shares at $15.38. The average that I got out was 1693. I was thinking about shorting this in the beginning. I was like, well, if it gets to about 14, I'll short it. At least I was thinking that for one scenario. But then I know, and then my mind quickly changed. As soon as it hit this, my mind and my strategy changed because now I'm like, wait, this could potentially be a buy stock, not a short stock. I need to quickly change how I think from short and go on the buy mentality. How is this a buy mentality? So I ran through everything and then this ticker happened. So then I was like, okay, perfect. I've seen this kind of pattern before. If this one can hit around 1550 and then come back down and then hold a few candles, I would like to buy it then. If it were to hit this, then this would be a triple top. One, two, three a triple top at this barrier around 1550. Then if it can come back down, consolidate for a candle or two, and then touch it again, I felt that it's just like, this is poking at that ceiling right there. It's poking one, two, three, and then, you know, it's just gonna jam through. Like, I don't know. That's kind of like the picture of the scenario that I have in my head. I like to give these patterns stories. It, it just helps me remember them. I know it's weird. That and has a lot of volume for today. And many people generally are buyers. So that's always a good sign. That made me have a little bit more faith that it was gonna do three to four to five dollars. And that's pretty much what it did. It went up close to five dollars. This is still the live market. It is 9.08 right now. And it's back. I'm happy with, with the call that I made pretty much to buy around here and I believe I caught the middle of this and that's my goal. This is a breakout pattern. Once you learn how you can identify it that fits your personality, this is one of the easiest ones to learn. Find them, it's your criteria. Even though I left a lot of money on the table, I'm happy that I locked in the amount of money that I did because you know what? If I can keep this habit up, it will be easier to scale and that's one of my goals is to scale and i definitely want to scale out of this pdt role please subscribe and like it helps me make these kind of videos see you guys next time